I'm going to break it down into the shapes and circles and lines just like everything is made up of. They're made up of those circles and their shapes, like a circle and a shape, and here, we'll stick your arm out, and a line. If you start looking at those, so hopefully by teaching you some of these drawing techniques, you can start thinking how others' things are drawn. Each time I prepare for these lessons, each time I prepare for them, I think about how you're learning. I'm at the point that I'm observing and watching, just like you should be as artists. When you're observing and watching, can you observe and watch? Can you look at this horse here? Or actually, why don't you turn around and look at this horse here? I want you to look at this horse and I wanna say a thank you to Anna, who has shared her horse, Lady Governor, with us. Anna, just like many of you, is not able to do some of her most favorite activities. And Tate, what activities are you missing that you wish you could do? Go to school? I'm kind of missing that. Um, what else are you missing? Keaton, are you missing some activities? School. school. I never thought I'd hear my kids say, oh, I wish I was in school. Um, what else? Are you missing um, Boy Scouts? I think they're missing Boy Scouts. Talia's missing college. Um, and Talia Rose, she's Rose for her school. Um, just if, if I have any fans, she's a Bucknell uh, student. So hello to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, you're missing your friends. You, well, you know what? This is, I feel like we have friends here today. Well, we have Anna's horse, Lady Governor. It's gonna be our inspiration today. And one of the things that I want to share with you is that we're gonna do a profile or a side shot because that's gonna be where we can break down and put all those elements in for you drawing a horse. So are we ready to begin? Are you ready? You're not ready? Oh, I know why you're not ready. You don't have your pencil. Let's grab it and let's go ahead and start. So now what we're gonna wanna do, you want me to take Lady Governor down so you can draw? If you had a horse, or maybe you do, why don't you share with us what your horse's name or what you would name your horse? So what would you name a horse if you had it? We live in Kentucky, so there are lots of horse farms. There are lots of horse races, and it's kind of fun to see the horse names. Um, what would you name your horse? Would you name it um, Skywalker? No. Um, what would you name it? Uh, Cinnamon? <laughs> That's our dog's name. Um, what's, a, what's a Skylander name? No, you wouldn't name a Skylander name? So, I might name some, something that sounds yummy, like... Soup. Like a soup? Beth says that she would name her horse Spirit. Beth would name her horse Spirit. I like that name. I like that, Beth. So, you, when, you're, when you're drawing your horse, when you're done, you can give your horse a name. So, we're going to turn to our papers. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about where you are on your paper. When you start a drawing, if you start way up in the corner, it's sometimes you can't finish the drawing. If you start way down at the bottom, sometimes. So we're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna start with the horse's belly. Are you ready to start? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do kind of an oval right here, okay? Go ahead and give me an oval right here. Now, if you want to draw a little lighter than I do, I'm going to draw darker so you can see all those steps. But if you draw a little bit lighter during some of these steps, you'll be able to um, um, go over the outline or the contour of the horse a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to start up here and we're going to do a circle right about here and we're going to overlap it. There we go like that. Yep, you want enough coming out right here. And I'm going to turn that circle basically into a six. I'm going to put a line right there. Do you see where I get that six right there? See how that line comes? Yep, you're going to kind of come back there. And sometimes Tate, the markers I noticed when we're writing on here have been getting a little dry. So if so, I've put a charcoal over there for you. Okay, 
Now we're going to come over here and we're going to put a circle a little bit, a little bit away. We're not going to overlap this one. A little bit bigger than our six over there. Okay. So you see where we are? We've got six. We've got our belly right here that we drew first. Then we have our, our circle that we turned into a six. And we're going to use that same idea and we're going to turn this one into a backwards six like this. So see how there's space in between right here, but this one overlaps. So right now you should have three circles. That center one that's the belly, this one right here that overlaps, and this one right here. You see where we are? Okay. Well, let's start putting some of those together. So we're going to connect the top a little bit. We're going to connect these two points like this, like that, yeah. So we connected our sixes like that. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to kind of connect this point right here. Okay, so we have our three circles, our belly, our six at the front, our one at the end. We've connected that top part. We've connected that bottom. Okay, so how are you feeling? Does it look like a horse yet? Don't worry, we're gonna start. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna put a little dot right there, okay? We're gonna start thinking about our neck of our horse. So let's kind of put a line like this. Yep, and you can kind of carry it. You want to connect it right here like this to this one. Right there, yep. And now from this point that we drew this right here, we're going to draw a straight line down to there. So kind of around there, we're going to draw that line down there. So let me show you. We have Lady Governor, so I'm doing... What we're putting in is there's this circle here, there's her belly, there's her hind leg. Can you see right there? And we're putting in that neck right now. Okay. Is everyone doing? Did we get any more good horse names? Oh, so many. Oh, oh, share some of the good horse names. I'll let everyone kind of catch up where we are. Let's see. We have zero. Zero. Whoa! Whoa! How do you every time you say the horse's name, does the horse stop? Whoa! <laughs> uh, Ashley says cylinder. Ooh, I like that. I Susan like that. Susan says midnight. Ooh, ooh! I bet that would be a dark horse. Lisa rides a horse named Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy is a fun name. Okay. Well, you can make sure that you can when you add color at the end, you can color it the way you think your horse would go. So are we ready to put the head in? We started with the belly. We put the six in here. We put the hind leg in here. We're starting with that neck. So now we're gonna put a circle at the top of there. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna put a circle up here. Do you think we're starting to get to a head, Tate? We're starting to get a head in there? Okay. And then we're gonna put another circle. So we have our circle at the tip of here, we're going to put another circle right here. See how we start building all these parts. Excellent job. So let's look at Lady Governor again. This is the circle part. We've got that right here. And then this is what we're putting in right there. So now we're going to connect it right there. So we kind of put those circles together. See how that's starting to happen? Yep, connect these circles right here. And then connect these circles right here. So you're kind of putting that line at the top and that line underneath. And then you wanna make sure you get this kind of connected. So see right here, Tate? 
you kind of round that in right there. Okay. Okie doke. Tate, have you thought of a good name? Oh, Talia has a favorite name. What is it? Yoda. Oh, Talia loves baby Yoda. Yoda. Yoda would be that horse. Okay. Well, do you think our horse would be very fast right now? For a skeleton. For a skeleton? Well, what, what, what is missing on the horse? Many things. Many things are missing, but maybe the, the legs? I think we need some horse legs. Um, well, the horse legs are their arms. I guess they would call the front the arms and the back would be the legs. So we're going to go ahead and start putting the legs. What I want you to do is I want you to space out how far this is. So if I put my hand like this, you may be able to put three fingers. We're going to make sure we're at least that distance of the body. I'm going to show you what I mean. See how far the horse is and then see how far the legs will be. That's going to be the bottom. So I'm going to show you on the drawing. If I'm right here, I'm going to come down to the bottom and put a little line. And that's going to be how long my legs are going to be. When you have drawing, you have those relationships to everything, like where things come, how long they go. And if you can look at other things you're drawing, you can find that out. So you go, if I leave my hand like this and I put it down here, this is going to be my ground. So I know my legs are going to be that long. So we might draw some sticks. So go ahead and draw a go ahead and draw your whole, it's going to be your whole ground because you're going to have to put, we're going to put one leg up here. It's hard to draw on Lady Governor. You see how these two legs are close together. We're just going to represent that with one leg because that's that's a little hard. That gets a little tricky. But where we've got our two legs apart, we're going to put those two legs on the back. So, right here at the, at the tip of this circle, you see where this is on here? We're going to basically come over here as well. See where this is? So if we have this here and this here, we're going to come in the middle and we're basically going to draw a line. That's going to help us know where to build our leg. Okay? It does look like a stick right now. It's just a line. It's just a line. It's just a line. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to come off. So again, kind of in the center of the circle. Now this is tricky. We're not going to put just a line. We're going to put a, well, do you notice that the legs do something different right here? So we're going to kind of make them do that. We're going to come back and then forward like that. And then for our second leg, Kind of in between here, we're going to do the same thing, like that. So right now, can you see, because I did those a little lighter, make sure they can see. So remember, we came right in the middle of this circle, and we just went straight down to our line. Now we come over here, we're in the center, and we're going to make those, and then between here and here, see between here and here, see where that center point is? between those two, we're putting that line down. That's going to let us know where our legs are going to fall. And do you remember how it went from here to here is the same distance as the body? So the body, those legs, are as long as the body is to support the body. Getting that scale sometimes is really hard. You want to make really long legs or really short legs. And sometimes, this is a great observation study, if you have animals, take a look at them and see are their legs, if you had a basset hound, its legs would be much shorter than its body. What kind of dog do we have? A whippet? Yes, we have a whippet. So we have a whippet and his legs are, or her, sorry, yes it is, her legs are much longer than her body. So depending on where your dog is, or they might be the same. Understanding and seeing those is the key to drawing because those are the details. Remember, I always say an artist is looking for the details. Okay, we ready to put some legs in? We ready to go? Grab your pen. Let's put them in. So now we're going to fill this leg in. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to find the knees first. So we're going to give it a knee right there about halfway down. I'm going to give it a circle. Yep, and I'm going to find a knee right here, 
and a knee right here. So right now on our sticks, we're putting those joints in. Do you remember when we drew the hands and we talked about the knuckles? And if you haven't, if you watched that video when we were doing Picasso's puff paint, we talked about drawing the hands and putting circles for the knuckles. We're doing that for the knees. It's the same thing. You're highlighting joints because that's going to be where your line changes. Another place on a horse where you really see a lot of movement is right here on their ankles. So we're going to put a little circle right here. Okay. So we're going to put a circle down here right above. Not all the way at the bottom. You see how I left a little room? I'm going to put a circle right there. Yep. That looks great, Tate. Now, you should have your line. Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? You're going to have a line, but remember how these are circles and it all comes together? What we're going to do is we're going to put something to represent a hoof in. So you can kind of put a triangle. I put a little shape that looks like a square. See how that works? So we did circles on all our knees, circles on our ankles. Yep, Tate, why don't you show them your shape? Tate, put a triangle in, and that's a great way to start to symbolize that. So putting those hooves in. Because horses have feet. And what kind of shoes? Do you know what kind of shoes a horse wears? Do you, what kind? It's real easy. Horse shoes. <laughs> well, it doesn't wear Nikes, so. <laughs> Horseshoes. So here's where our horse's feet are. Are you ready? Let's draw some legs. Where's your, where's your pencil? Okay, let's go. So right here, we're gonna come to where we have that corner and we're going to come out a little bit, and we're going to draw a line down to that knee. See that right there? Yep. And then we're going to come out to where that other corner is, and we're going to draw another line down to that knee. See how we're starting to get a leg right here? Excellent job. So we came out to about right there, about where the belly touches, and we got that line, and we put a line from here to the knee. And then where this circle is, we came out and we drew another line there. See how our leg, our leg is starting to come into play. See how wide it is with the muscles? Okay, so let's continue on down. Tate, are you ready? Let's make this a little thicker. We're going to go from the circle to the circle, but we're going to come in just a little bit like Lady Governor's feet would come in or her shins would come in. We're going to connect those. So you see how we have our leg right here. We connected these to the circle of the knee, and then we connect the shin, circle to circle, to the ankle. See how we start to get that horse's leg up here with the thigh and coming down there. So we're going to do this with the back feet too, and the back legs. But remember, see how when you have a horse, it's hard to see, so we're just doing one leg up front, but see how they're apart. But remember, this leg, if you think about drawing the houses or anything we put behind, this leg is behind. So we're going to draw this leg first because it's in the front. Okay, so let's do this, but notice the front leg is in the back. See how that, see how that works? So let's go and let's draw it. Okay, ready? We're going to come down and we're going to connect to this knee right here. Because we're going to draw that front foot first and it's the back leg. Yep, can you connect from the back of this circle right here down to that knee? That's right, good job. Okay, and now because this one's in front, we're going to come way over here. And so we're not worried. We're going to come all the way over. So we've got these two circles. I'm going to come to this one. I'm going to stay off of this one. I'm going to come all the way over here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to connect to that. Yeah, it's hard because you're, you're jumping all the way to the belly. But we're going to get that motion over there. It's like if you came down here, you did that, and you're going to come all the way. That's a hard one right there. You see what I'm doing? 
Here's where the belly is right here. And I'm connecting all the way up to there and coming down to that knee. See how we're doing that? Okay. So you ready for the next one? You ready to go right here? So we're going to do the same thing. Let's give them some shins. Let's go down here. You're just going to make that a little wider. There. There we go. Okay, so you're just making that a little bit wider and giving that information where that circle is. Remember our knee is right there. We connect it to the back of the circle. We connect it over to the belly. We connect it to that circle down here. And then now we're having, see how our legs are coming together? So now we're going to do just a little bit because we don't see all of this one. We're going to connect right here, kind of where, from our belly again. We're going to connect there. You can do that one. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. And then we're going to connect here. Now notice I drew from the line right here. We're connecting to that knee right here from up here and up here because we're putting this this leg this leg is in the front just like here see this leg right there so I made mine a little bit fat but I think I was trying to show yours looks great okay so let's connect our shins right here Mommy did make hers. I made it a little fat, but that's okay. Oh, yours looks great. I love it. I love it. I went a little wide on my leg back here. Um, but I think you can start to tell. Now, we're still missing some things. What are we missing on a horse? A mouth, eyes, and their nose, and their ears, and their mane. Anything else? And their tail. Okay. Well, their tail isn't as long as you think it is. We can go ahead and add a tail. The tail comes down to about here. So, and you can just put a little line down there. Yep. You want to make it really long, don't you? Well, in Tate's case, you can make it really long if you want to. Okay. So, let's do the ears up here. Now the ears are going to go kind of on the top like this, like ready to hear, just like that. Okay? Yep. Well, you could always, if you wanted to turn into a unicorn, you just add, add a horn. I mean, that's pretty much a unicorn is a horn, is a horse with a horn and um, rainbow manes. So now what you want to do is we want to find where the eye is. So the eye on a horse is right here. Remember where this center was? Here is about the eye. It's way over. It's not right in the center. It's closer to the front. And it's right in there. Okay? So I did this for my eye. I just did this representation. I just put a little line. Kind of put that in there. And then... Um, what we have is we're going to put their nose in right here. So, you know, you're going to have that nose, their horse's nose comes in kind of like that, which is going to go, which we can represent with that right there. Okay, so we've got our legs, our tail, our head. We've got how the proportions work together. We can add a mouth right here. We have that. Yep. Oh, they need a mane too. Oh, we're not going to add the reins or the bridle or any of that. So for their mane, let's look at Lady Governors. There's a little bit of hair that comes out the front. And I'm going to represent hair by doing these quick lines like this. Okay, we've got a little hair that comes out the front. And then we've got the mane that comes behind. So we're going to put this, and look, the mane goes all the way down to where that body part is. So, yep. 
Yeah. So now I'm going to kind of go over some of the outlines so you can see where the contour is. If you remember the contour line lesson, contour lines show the shape of a subject. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat. That's fine. So here is the main right here. That actually becomes the contour right there. We've got the back that we can kind of round out. We've got the leg that comes in. We've got the tail right there. We've got this part. We've got our hooves. Now you can add a little line right here and that really ends up making it look like a hoof right there. And when I go around and I kind of smooth out all these lines like this and I take all those shapes, I'm trying to darken, darken it all out for y'all. So you see that and the belly comes down and we smooth out how we go into that leg right there. Let me show you that. Come around. Let's add that little line on the hoof. On the hoof, there's a little line like this. So you can always add that line for that little detail. It's those little details that will make a difference. Here's this that comes like that. I'm just rounding out and smoothing all these lines and details. Let's see. How we smooth all this out, we smooth out where our horse is. How are we doing, Talia? We have any questions? I know we have a lot of great horse names. We have any questions? Um, some people were a little um, stuck on trying to figure out the mouth placement in relation to the nose and eye. Okay. So the eye is up here. It's right up here. The mouth where that circle is, so if we do this again, and we have this circle here, that nose is right here in this tip of the circle. So, so if we're connecting this, see how we connect that? And then the mouth comes along right here, and you end up with that, and the eye is up here. So here's that circle. If I do it, sorry, there's the main right there. And you come down. Here's that other circle right here. So see where the bottom of the mouth is? See how that nose comes in there? And then you can just extend this out just a little bit to get a little bit of that overhang. To give you that. And then the, the ear would be up there. I'm kind of exploding off my paper with the, you see where that all comes together? Does that, I hope that helps. Remember, I told you this is a lot of parts and pieces and it's putting it all together and it can be really hard to do, but I have seen your work. I know you can do this. So I'm, while you're all working on those, I'm going to walk you through it real quickly again and show you each step that we did by pointing to it on the drawing. So you can maybe, if there's a spot you missed, you can kind of see how you can figure that out. And then we're not going to worry too much about shading it, but I'll show you a few ways to bring some things in. So the first thing we did was we drew the belly right here. Remember, right in the middle of our paper, we have that belly. Then we drew this six, this circle right here that overlaps and this line that came up. See how that's kind of ending the body and starting the neck. Then we came over here and we did a circle back here, like a backward six. We put that little line right in there and that's kind of starting the hind end. It's getting that shape for us. Then we connected those together all the way, kind of leaving a little bit of a gap for our leg to make that body. We've got that shape of that body. Then we came over and we put a circle up here and we drew a line up there and a line back down here to connect these two. So we made that neck just like that. Then we put a circle at the top getting ready for the head and a circle a little bit away and a little bit smaller just like this to get ready for that nose and that mouth. Then we connected those together and added our ear kind of got ready so we have our body, our neck, and our head. Then remember how big our body was 
and we gave that same measurement again so we knew how long our legs would be. We added a line here to represent the front legs and two lines that were bent. It went like this, remember? Bent backwards. This one was straight and two lines to represent the two back legs. Then we came along and we added the knees and the ankles, circles, just like we talked about with our hands. Knees and ankles, knees and ankles. Then we added, came back and we showed how to enlarge this area from the tip of the circle to the body to make that front leg with all its muscles. Then we connected the knee to the shin and made that wider leg to get that little bit of a shin. So we're just widening our stick figure. We came back and we went from the body because we talked about how on Lady Governor, the leg comes from the body all the way back here. And we came from our circle back here. We joined to our knee and then we filled out our shins right here. We made sure that we added a little detail to our hooves. We added a tail off the back side about the tip of this circle is about where we came. We added our eyes up here, up in the middle of the circle. We added our nose right here along here. We added the mouth that kind of comes along there, comes in that way, and our mane and our hair. And then we said, oh, what's our horse's name? So what can happen now is this leg would be a little bit darker because it's behind, it's in shadow. Remember how things are in shadow? You can start shading these. I am a no eraser gal, but because these are guidelines, you can erase them, but you can also see that there were some of the shading comes. We're really gonna talk about shading on Thursday. Shading is, is very, it's a very simple concept, but it becomes difficult to master. So it's great to start step by step, but if you notice, just like when we showed our, where our shadows are, so we have shadows here and shadows there and that kind of thing. You can shade as you want to, you can color as you want to, but the most important part of this drawing is to understand how all these pieces work together. The knees are circles and they join to these, where the body connects, where the head and neck connects, because the horse is a very different shape than we are and has that long, thick neck and Lady Governor has, um, her, there's her head shaped like that with her ears and all those things we see. So you put those all into it and you have a horse. Now I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Remember, sometimes drawing is really hard. And the best thing is if you got frustrated any time is to try it again because I know you can do this. I know you can. And in fact, I bet I'm going to see a whole bunch of awesome horse drawings today, which will make me so happy and so proud. Remember, name your horse. Give it whatever name you want and color it accordingly. Think about, would it have a spot? Would it be a Palomino? Would it be, somebody's named their horse Midnight. I would make that one black and shiny. Wouldn't that be fun? What? Rex. Rex, Rex could be your horse. So, and I bet... I won't be surprised if I see some unicorns too. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed drawing horses today. Remember, look around and observe things like how big is your doggy's tummy to how short are his legs? How does that go? It's looking like that that makes you an artist. Tomorrow, get your baby powder ready and your glue. We're going to be doing some texture paste. I've got the supply list on Facebook and heavy uh, paper, paints of any kind, whatever you have that you can add color. And if you don't have any, just do the texture and you're, you'll learn all about that. And on that note, enjoy your horses. Art is man's nature and nature is God's art. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.